I am Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to solve acute angle triangles using trigonometry. In triangle KLM, angle K is 70 degrees, angle L is 40 degrees and M is 25.3 meters. Find K to the nearest tenth of a meter. So, so we are given angles K and L. Let's make a triangle first. Let's say that is K and this is L. K is 70 degrees, so it's kind of like this, okay, and L is 40 degrees, so, so let me just draw a line like this. So we get K as 70 degrees, L as 40 degrees, I mean, okay, 40 degrees, and we are also given M, side M, so M is the vertex and side M will be this particular side, which is 25.3 we need to find K, so we need to find that side. That is how we can see our triangle. So always label your triangle with capital letters on the vertices and side opposite will be lowercase with the same letter. So K will be opposite to the vertex K, right? That is how it is. Now in this particular triangle, we are given two angles. We can find the third angle, that is angle M, so we say angle at M is equals to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 40 degrees, correct? So that is the first step. Let's use the calculator. So 180 minus 70 minus 40 equals to 70. So it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, so we found this equals to this. Now, so you know what the answer is. Anyway, uh, let us calculate. So we'll calculate using sine law. So sine law states that we have to find the ratios and these ratios are equal. Since we need to find side K, we can say K divided by the angle opposite, which is sine of 70 degrees, should be equal to side opposite to the angle, which is 25.3 divided by sine of 70. Is that okay? And of course, when you solve, you get K equals to 25.3 times sine of 70 degrees divided by sine of 70 degrees and as expected it's an isosceles triangle so you get the same dimensions right so so it is so many meters so that is the answer anyway now let me change this question a bit and uh, then we can solve it right so let us change this angle from 40 to let us say 50 degrees okay so I made a small change. I'm changing this to 40 to 50 degrees. And now that's a question for you to solve. Now figure out what is K, right? So you can apply the same method and solve the question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.